Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to look at in this video, if you haven't heard, Grandstream has now released their UCM as a cloud offering. It doesn't mean that they're going to stop offering or supporting the on-prem products because that is not the case. They will, for probably a very long time, support the, the on-prem UCM, and you're going to see feature parity between the products. But this is another tool in the toolkit for those of us who use and support Grandstream because they've got they've got some tricks up their sleeve. So let's take a look at this real quick. So I'll leave links to this down below. But basically what they did was they took the UCM software and they are now running it, you know, on a cloud instance. They've, they've cut it up a little bit differently, and you'll see that when we get to the pricing. But one thing to note is that it does come with SBC services, that session border control. They are providing that with this. You can buy SBCs. You could also use a Grandstream UCM as an SBC if you wanted. But let's take a look. Uh, at the pricing and how this is going to lay out. So right now they've got five different plans and you can do a one month trial of the startup. And with the startup, you get 10 extensions, four concurrent calls, one gig of storage. You can use the, the wave app. It does have the built in SBC and I'm going to show you the difference in the, in the features here. So then you have the Soho plan for two ninety nine a year with 20 extensions, eight calls, the plus for 649 a year, 50 calls, 16 extensions, the pro for 1299 a year, that's 100 extensions, 32 calls, the business for $2,099 a year, 200 extensions, 64 calls. So you can see that this pricing is much different than our on-prem UCM. And that's, I mean, you have to pay for the resources where, you know, these things are being hosted. So this would be expected. Now, the one thing that you need to keep in mind is you still need to bring your own SIP provider. So you need to bring your own SIP trunk to this service. And we beta tested this, and it's super fast, right? Because it's it's sitting on a, a, you know, a mountain of compute resources. So it is, it is fast. I don't know how fast it'll be long term. I'm sure that they're going to scale this. But Let's take a look at the, the differences down here. Your main differences are the, the amount of extensions and concurrent calls. So keep that in mind. If we look at the comparison, when you access the, the server, if you are using the startup, you'll use the URL, and you don't get to choose the URL. They create it that you, that you use to access the UCM. If you get the Soho or the Plus, then you can customize part of that FQDN, that that third level. So whatever dot whatever the, you get you get to choose, you know, the whatever dot Grandstream, whatever their their URL is. If you have the Pro or the Business, you can specify your own top level domain, and you can have a custom logo. In, in the device. That, that's some more of those, those uh, differences. Now, when you look at the features, you only get UCM alerts via GDMS and SMS on the pro and the business. You don't get that on any of the other plans. And the other thing that's missing is on the startup, you can't do call recording. You can do call recording on all of the other plans. Other than that, this is, as far as features go, it's pretty much the, the difference. Now, the one thing that I'm excited about, and I've got to do some videos on this because we haven't even touched on the instant messaging platform that the, the UCM can provide. We haven't talked about the, uh, the customer service, the chat, there's all kinds of things that your UCM can do, and people are just starting to scratch the surface and realize how great the devices um, have become. They were good before, uh, great before, and now they're really good, really great because of all these features that they've added. 
And if you didn't know, there is a built-in customer service platform. We're going to get into all that. But the other thing that I'm super excited about, check this out. Remote high availability between the UCM 6300 series and the cloud UCM. So when we are talking about disaster recovery, when we are talking about how do we keep our phones ringing in the event of you know something happening at our main site where our PBX is, this is now going to allow us, when this feature is available, we're going to be able to have that HA setup between our on-prem and our cloud UCM. That That's kind of a game changer, right? So would I mind paying $299 a year for the peace of mind of knowing that I can fail this over? A lot of companies are probably going to look at that. The other thing that you've got is there are some third-party add-ons. and Those are also not available in the startup. And the communication and collaboration software development kit are only available in the pro and the business. But the full API and third-party add-ons that you get with the Soho to the business plan, they have a Google Drive, Office 365, WhatsApp, Telegram, IP Video Talk, and then Wave for Outlook, Teams, and Google Chrome. Those are only available in the Soho and up. So I know that Grandstream held off on this for a while because they didn't want to upset their partners. I think it's a great strategic move to have this as an offering. And please know that I've talked to Grandstream about this and they are not going to stop supporting the on-prem UCM. This is just another tool in the toolkit for, for those of us who want to use and deploy Grandstream. And that failover... I can, I mean, strategically, I'm already thinking like, okay, like I have these, these sites that have my UCMs and if you're not working on disaster recovery and planning for disasters, you should be, that's, that's another thing, but I am probably going to include this, even if it's just the, the Soho or the, the, you know, the plus something that's just sitting there. So that in the event of a disaster, I can still have some, you know, communication. I, I'm working on that. And there'll be a video on that when we get that done. If you want to see a video of this, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to leave links to both of these pages that we looked at. But if you actually want to see the cloud UCM, let me know. And we'll go ahead and we'll do a quick video on it so you can kind of see the differences. We, we brought a Telnex trunk to ours. Yes, we are still recommending Telnex. Uh, and it works works great. Uh, the other thing that you should be aware of is the trunks now in this support TLS and TCP. There's no UDP SIP trunks. So that's a little bit of a change, but it makes sense given everything that they're trying to do. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see a demo of this. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links and a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Also, if you're not a member of our community yet, why not? Head on over to community.willyhow.com. It's free. You can come over, ask your questions, interact with all the great people over there. And we are building a really great community. So come on over. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.